Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Di, D. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome. Consider subscribing, consider liking, and consider sharing. So, today, your girl is back with another video. I think it was um, one of my get ready with me's where I um, mentioned that I would be doing a video on um, what's in my makeup case. So, I figured why not do that today before I take off what the day um, has to offer as far as face. Um, and by the way, I do have on this um, e.l.f. color grip primer, primer, primer. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I will be grabbing things um, right off the top and going through them. I don't want to make the video um, too long. Start off, um, I have these makeup brushes. This um, is from Morphe. It's, I don't know if it's the travel case. I don't even know. I'll, again, everything, like always, is in the description. I actually put a link to these brushes. This one doesn't belong with it. I added this one. I got this brush set off of um, Amazon. But I added this brush to it. But the rest of these, I believe it's a 12-piece set. So it's like 11 brushes. So yeah, this is what I use for my makeup case. They are very soft. One thing about Morphe brushes is they are gonna be soft, baby, okay? Next um, to the brushes, sorry, it's my watch. Next to the brushes, um, I have two setting sprays that are like my absolute favorite. So um, I have the um, Morphe, uh, the Morphe spray. I don't know if you can see it or you can just kind of see it. So yeah, I have the Morphe spray, mattifying continuous spray, and it's yes, definitely like a staple for me. It's a really good um, setting spray, especially for um, down here in Florida. Now, what I will say, just a quick note: the spray, like the sprayer on it, is not the greatest sprayer. So, just to keep that in mind. I have the um, Make It Last by um, Milani. And again, it's matte. I'm here in Florida. Um, there are times where obviously it's not super hot or anything. But if you're trying to get a full wear, you're going to need lots of setting spray that, you know, they're where they're matte. Um, and then you're going to definitely need setting powders and things because Florida can get brutal, especially if you're going to be like actually out somewhere. So this is a good one. I just have these, um, cotton puffs from Shop Miss A. I keep a pack of these in there just in case you never know. It's really good for like um, putting the setting powder under your eyes to set that concealer. Um, then next I have of course these makeup wipes. These are just from um, Dollar Tree. Nothing super special or anything but they do work. They're thin of course you have to use like an extra one. For as many as you would use anyway. So. But they're well worth it. And I think I am missing one. But that is okay. So. I have this old. I think you guys have seen me um, use this before. I have this old LA Colors. 18 color eyeshadow palette. It's like. Old. Like old. But these shades down here especially are really beneficial and some in the middle. Um, these I kind of don't use as much. But um, yeah, it's, a, it's a, a good palette still. And then I also have, um, I have a purple 
like one that was more of nudes i do have a um purple um eyeshadow palette with the 18 colors as well and here's the blue one i don't use um the blue one as much because i do like to use my juvia's place um palette with the blues in it i forget the name of the palette off my head but i have it under here somewhere then we have this Nubian Royal um, palette from Juvia's Place. So, yeah, this is nice. It's very convenient. It has nice shades in it. It's very convenient for, um, you know, quick looks and stuff like that. They give you just enough shimmers, just enough um, mattes and stuff. So, it's like completely perfect. Then I have right here... This one is the Berries palette. Is this the one? Yeah. Yeah. The Violets. If I had glasses and could read. It's the, the Violet palette. And if I could talk, it would help too. And this is another one. This is nice. It's perfect. It's given a real purple type of vibe. But it has really nice colors in it don't use that one as much as well okay focus okay um and so here is the palette that i was referring to with the blues in it that i do go to when i do use um blues and look at that i mean look at that look how beautiful those colors are and how usable they are and then I, this is the berries palette. I love this palette. Um, I have used this on my channel for that get ready with me. Um, I believe it's the, I'll link it in the description. This is so beautiful. Look at that. Like freaking gorgeous. Look at that. And again, everything you need. There's shimmers in there. There's some dark purples and things like it's like the perfect palette. Just absolutely perfect. Saharan 2 palette from Juvia's Place. I think it's discontinued. Um, they don't sell it anymore, but I had so these two right here that actually um are broken. I didn't use those much anyway. What's left is pretty much what I was using. This color I was using as well. It was, I believe, more like a silverish type of color. I was using that as well um, before it broke. But I still use this palette a whole lot. I actually use this palette to create um, the look that I have on right now. Still comes in the clutch for you, girl always and forever i absolutely love juvia's place i feel like they make sure that they make things products that are pigmented enough for us um yeah we still use eyeshadow bases and things like that but you still want to feel like you don't have to necessarily put that on your eyes to get the color payout that you want so juvia's place is like i have three or four more palettes with um of juvia's place okay my bad y'all definitely had to make um a quick little change or whatever but um i also i forgot a palette so i also have this bh cosmetics glamorous blush palette um i don't have very many blush type of products so this is pretty much all that i use um this one is actually just hit pan um it's not broken it just hit pan um but this is a really nice palette i also do have one off of amazon um but that's in my main um makeup collection then i have these eyelashes so, um, I got these off of Amazon for like $3 or something like this. And, um, I also have another one. Hold on one second. 
So this is the other pack of lashes that I got from Amazon at the same time. And they're really nice. They're soft too. And that's, I guess, the brand. That's where I got these from. So this one is just an extra one. But this is the one that I currently have in the makeup case. I have this brush set from Shop Miss A. But I have a video up um, just either a video or it's in a vlog or something like that. I have um, these brushes in that video. And I mentioned how everything, they're soft, they're great, everything's great about them. Um, I just had to sit them outside and let them air out. And I, um, after I let the, them air out, I washed them, sanitized them, and let them air out again in the sun. And, and they're good. And um, like I said, they're very soft. So this was a really good brush set. And it was like, I don't know, I want to say it might have been like 10 or $12 for it. And so I keep that in there. This is like back up just in case I need more than um, the Morphe brush set. Then I have this bag. I got this bag from City Trends like three or four years ago. Um, it's sparkly. It doesn't come off. The sparkle on it is like up there. So it doesn't come off or anything like that. You don't got to worry about it being um, glitter being all over the place because I know like I'm a girly girl to a certain extent and so I don't care to have glitter all over the place up into two sides so I'll just show you what I have briefly in both sides so this first side I know you guys have seen this um mirror I have a mirror can never go wrong with that I don't know what this is called, but it comes in handy for me after I am putting on my lashes and I need to like blend them into each other. In the when I need to blend my real lashes with my um, false eyelashes, this comes in handy. Um, I'm not really sure if any of you guys know what this is called. Um, let me know. I got it from the dollar store a few years ago. And it's, again, clutch item. Clutch item. Then right here I have um, the brow gel that I always use um, for Maybelline. I use it in every get ready with me. So you guys should be familiar excuse me with that and then I have this um, mascara and I think it's from shop miss a as well if I'm not mistaken but it's just your standard mascara it's really nothing super special about it I have a eyebrow razor some people use it for their face. Whatever you use it for. I have a razor. I have an extra um, brow gel, actually, that I got from Shop Miss A that I'll be using soon and trying out because my Maybelline one is um, almost gone. Regular dollar store black eyeliner pencil. Um, a double sharpener. Can't remember where I got it from, but it has the big, um, for big pencils and little pencils. Definitely a clutch item. Um, I do remember at one point everybody was doing like the, um, jumbo pencil type of craze thing. And at the time it's like, okay, I have nothing to sharpen those with. Then I have this dollar store, um, pencil sharpener this actually works better than the one I just showed you guys this little one from the dollar store came in a pack of nine by the way um, works so good 
like super good. Love this pencil sharpener. Then I just have these spoolies um, that I use for my eyebrows. I switch them out every few weeks, um, but I use them for my eyebrows only, obviously. And um, I got these off of Etsy, these pink ones, I believe I got off of Etsy, but I'm sure you can find these like on Amazon or a lot of places. Maybe even Timu, I don't know. Then I have this lash glue from IMV. I really love this one, or I've been recently liking the um, dollar store one. It comes in a two pack and they're like this small, but it's a liner and a lash adhesive. So it does both and it just cuts time down like tremendously. And it stays really like in play. It stays put all day. Like it's really, it's a really good product. So um, check your dollar store and see what's there. Then I have, of course, um, an eyelash curler. I use this as well with that other thing and these seamlessly, seamlessly put my lashes with each other. I mean everything just works so good together. So we're going to move on to the other side. Okay, and so on this side we have a razor now um sometimes i do use this for multiple reasons but i use this sometimes for my face as well um that's what it looks like it's nothing fancy or anything honestly but it does come in handy so i keep it in my um case I have this liquid liner that I have been using from the dollar store. I'm not going to lie, usually when I get like just regular um, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner from like a hair store or the dollar store, I normally don't complain about it because it usually works perfectly fine. This one gets a little dry on you quicker. So like while you're using it, you better like go ahead and get all it because it's like it like dries up so quickly. Um, so I will not be purchasing this, and it has a nerve to say 24 hour eyeliner, and I think that's the name of it. But and it's by Kiss. Yeah, no, would not purchase this again. I have my Black Radiant eyeshadow primer. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this. I have been backing off of recently. I have been liking the LA Colors um, better as my base, depending on what I'm, what look I'm doing. So I won't be purchasing this again. Um, it comes out a bit cakey and chalky, and I just I don't like it. And that's like after like a week of having it. By the way, um, so I really this didn't this doesn't benefit me any whatsoever here I just have a bunch of different um, eyeliner pencils these are the colors I think you can see them like I have white I have a silver I have silver under my eyes today this one so next um, I have my um, lip bag so this bag originally is from um, BH Cosmetics I got a brush set in, in it and I have two of them because I got two brush sets on a sale like a few years ago so I'm not going to go over every lip product in this bag but I will go over some of them so let's see I have this Milani do not remember the name. The name is barely on it. If I can find the shade, I will link, link it below. I have this Maybelline lipstick. 
It's not the one I'm wearing, but I'll link that one and the one I'm wearing down below. I have just a regular lip gloss that I carry. My friend's lip gloss, I've linked her products um, down in two videos, I believe. I have old Wet n Wild lipstick. Now this was literally like a holy grail for me. And I'll link this one below too. It's like almost gone. That's as far as it'll go. It is so gorgeous. Like, I don't know why, but I can't remember the names of anything. So I am sorry that the description box is going to be so long and that I know nothing. You have that pretty one from Matt. More Maybelline, more Maybelline. This is the one that I have on right here. I have the um, lipstick from the MAC Aaliyah collection. And I like that color. I, I'm not going to lie, I was surprised. Um, I was surprised with the packaging. I mean, it's pretty, but I was surprised. I expected a little more um, when I got it. But such a great formula as always. MAC still has some of the best um, lipsticks around. Then, um, last but not least, for the um, lipstick lip type of bag, I have this Stila Liquid Lipstick super duper pretty you always have to have like a pink that's really gonna set it off and then I have this I believe it's from Becca it's like the glow gloss or something pretty nice and um, easy to put over a nice pink or whatever so so next we're just gonna move on to we're just gonna move on so it's a little dirty, but here's the second BH Cosmetics bag. And this one has the face um, complexion products in it. LA Girl Pro um, Powder Loose in Banana. Gotta have it. City Trends Concealer. This is the concealer that I use when um basically when I want it to be more natural of a under eye instead of it being so dramatic or whatever the case may be so this is really good I actually think it's a foundation stick but I use it as a concealer and I have that on under my eyes as well I have two um why can I not think and why is everything blank today? Like, um, primers, face primers. So I have been killing the e.l.f. one, but I also love this black radiance one. Um, it's a matte and it's supposed to be like poreless and blur or something like that. These are really good, really freaking good. But this e.l.f., let's, let's talk about this e.l.f. real quick, like seriously. Not sponsored or anything, just saying. This is a really good primer. The way that my makeup like attaches to it is like amazing. It's so it's so good. And it lasts quite a while. Now I do know that it is supposedly duping the milk um hydrating primer or something. Now, hydration, I wouldn't, I don't know if I, I don't know if I would say this is hydrating or not, but it works for me. Foundations, of course, that one was from the dollar store. Actually, I did a video on that. That was like really surprising how good um, this foundation is from the dollar store. And it's just in dark. Then I have this Ebony powder from Black Radiance again that I use to set the rest of my face. Then I have this blush, this blush stick. It's such a pretty 
color it shows up really nicely let me see if I can show you how nicely that turns up look how nicely that look how nice that is it's a mauve -y type of color very mauve and I have this powder from City Trends that I've been using up even though it's broken you guys have seen this before as well nothing new I have my set of LA girl pro concealers we'll list all four of them um, down below and what I use each kind for because obviously there's four different kinds that I use then we have the actual makeup bag case itself this is very old my mother gave it to me and this is what I use I love this mirror here it does come in handy um, this is what I keep all of that in and I'll show you what it looks like um, after I put everything back everything fits in here fairly nicely for the amount of things that I have Okay, so quickly, I want to show you what it looks like um, with everything packed back in the case. So here are the two bags with the lip products and the face complexion um, products. That's the two bags. That is the Morphe Burst Set. Um, here we have the two setting sprays I talked about, the puffs and the makeup remover wipes. Here are all of the palettes that I use. Here is the spot where I put my eyelashes. They stay perfectly fine right there, by the way. Um, this is where I put my brush set from Shop Miss A. And then lastly, I put this on top and I'll take a picture of it and show you what it looks like closed. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And it locks and they just latch like that on both sides. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. Um. Please like, share, subscribe. Like always, I thank you guys for viewing my videos and supporting me. I've been wanting to do this for years now. Um, literally years. I've been watching Platinum D, um, Miss Diva Like, Time the Infamous, um, J Loves Matt. Like I used to like be a YouTube girl. So this is like really something big for me and i thank you guys for viewing it and supporting me and um follow me on social media i have the links below i haven't been putting them in the um description but i will this time i will put them in there so that you guys can follow me on my social media platform um so yeah that's the end of this video i hope you guys liked it and i will be coming out lastly with a full collection video of all of my makeup that isn't in my makeup bag or my makeup case so i will see you guys soon